Are you tired of stuttering gameplay, random lag spikes, and low FPS ruining your CS2 matches? Today, I'll show you hidden Windows settings and pro tweaks that will instantly boost FPS, fix input lag, and make CS2 buttery smooth. These are the same secret optimizations competitive players use for lag-free performance. Stick around, because by the end of this guide, your PC will feel like a brand new gaming machine. SkinsMonkey is one of the most trusted sites where you can both buy and trade CSGO and CS2 skins. It's fast, safe, and super easy to use. Use my promo code TITU and get $5 free on your first trade. You can also grab daily rewards from the Freebies tab, and if you ever need help, there's a 24-7 live chat. The site shows you every skin detail like exterior, type, and color, and supports many payment methods. Use my code T2 to get a free $5, plus 35% extra on every deposit. If you want to instantly boost FPS and fix input lag in CS2, one of the best hidden tweaks starts right inside Windows. First, press Windows plus X and open Device Manager. Once you're there, expand the Network Adapters section and locate the active connection you're using, whether it's Ethernet for wired or Wi-Fi for wireless. Right-click on it. Choose Properties. Then switch to the Advanced tab. Here's where most players overlook some critical settings. Scroll through until you find TCP, Checksum Offload and Large Send Offload. These features might sound helpful, but in reality, they introduce small transmission delays that hurt real-time competitive gaming performance. Open the drop-down for both, set them to disabled, and hit OK. What this does is force your PC to handle the network packets directly, which lowers latency and reduces those tiny delays that cause input lag in CS2. Now let's push it even further for a real competitive edge. Stay inside Device Manager, but this time, expand System Devices. Look for something called High Precision Event Timer, HPET. While it was originally made to improve timing for certain applications, in gaming, it often does the opposite. HPET can cause frame pacing problems, inconsistent, FPS, and random micro stutters that ruin smooth gameplay. Right-click on HPET and select Disable Device. Don't worry, your PC will still run normally, but you'll notice an immediate difference. Your FPS becomes more stable and the overall system response feels sharper. By combining both of these powerful tweaks, you're cutting out unnecessary background processing that slows down your Counter-Strike 2 performance. The result is less input lag, smoother frame delivery, and the kind of lag-free experience every competitive CS2 player wants. To squeeze even more performance out of your PC and instantly boost FPS in CS2, you'll want to trim down unnecessary background services that eat up system resources. Start by clicking on the Windows search bar, typing services, and opening the Services Manager. This will pull up a huge list of everything running in the background. A lot of these aren't needed for gaming and disabling them can free up CPU and RAM for smoother performance. Let's go step by step. First, scroll down to the B section and find BitLocker Drive Encryption. Unless you specifically use BitLocker to encrypt your drives, it's just sitting there wasting resources. Right-click it, go into Properties, change the startup type to Disabled, hit Stop, then apply an OK. That's one less service slowing down your system. Next, move to the C section and locate connected user experiences and telemetry. This service sends usage data back to Microsoft, which is unnecessary for gaming and can even cause small background spikes. Right click, open properties, switch the startup type to disabled. Click stop, then apply. Just like that, you've cut off a hidden performance drain. Now, scroll to the D section and look for Distributed Link Tracking Client. This is mainly for networked systems and doesn't do anything useful for gaming PCS. Disable it the same way. Right-click, Properties, Set Startup Type to Disabled, hit Stop and apply the changes. Under the R section, you'll see Remote Registry. This allows other devices to make registry changes remotely. 
Not only is that a security risk, it's completely pointless for a gaming setup. Right-click, open properties, change the startup type to disabled. Stop it, then hit apply. Another powerful way to boost FPS and fix input lag in CS2 is by optimizing your virtual memory settings inside Windows. Start by opening the Windows search bar, typing advanced system settings and selecting it from the results. In the system properties window, look for the performance section and click settings. A new window will pop up called performance options. Go to the advanced tab, then click change under the virtual memory section to access your paging file settings. By default, Windows automatically manages your paging file size, but that can cause sudden lag spikes and stutters while gaming. To take control, uncheck the box that says automatically manage paging file size for all drives. Now, select your local disk C colon, which is usually where your operating system is installed. Choose custom size, and here's where the magic happens. Set the initial size to 1.5 times your total RAM and the maximum size to 3 times your total RAM. This creates a stable, pre-allocated memory buffer that prevents Windows from constantly adjusting it in the background. If you're unsure how to calculate it, here's an easy example. Let's say your system has 16 gigabytes of RAM. Multiply that by 1024 to convert it into megabytes. That gives you 16,384 megabytes. Now, multiply that number by 1.5 for the initial size, which equals 24,576 megabytes. Then multiply it by 3 for the maximum size, which equals 49,152 megabytes. Enter those values into the fields, click Set, then hit OK to apply the changes. What this does, is create a fixed and optimized virtual memory pool that Windows can use instantly whenever your RAM is under pressure. The result is fewer lag spikes, no more random freezes in RAM-heavy situations, and smoother, more consistent FPS across long gaming sessions in CS2. If you've ever had those sudden stutters in the middle of a clutch round, this tweak can make a huge difference. And that's how you can instantly boost FPS and fix input lag in CS2 for smoother, lag-free gameplay. If this helped, don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more pro CS2 optimization tips.